represents the body of Jesus. If you remove the aluminum foil, this represents the blood. Thank you, God. I'll tell you another thing that we learned at the Prosperity Revival is that we have to get the cross back in the church. So we're going to be working on, we're going to have a cross right here in the center, right here in the center. Somebody going to get demons cast out. People going to get delivered. In the Old Testament, they lifted it up and whoever was ill got healed just by looking on the cross. Then we're going to work on a way to get one outside. We become so contemporary, we took the cross out of the church. <laughs> the devil is in trouble now, so enough. Hello, my name is Pastor Russell Miller. <clears throat> I'm an employee here at Mount Gilead. I want to talk about the cross that um, my man of God, Bishop Daniel Robinson, gave me an assignment um, to build a cross for the sanctuary. And it was a marvelous opportunity for me and a privilege for to do such a thing. And in building this cross, the Lord was ministering to me how important it is, uh, the symbol of the cross and, and what it meant to the body of Christ. And really that's the reason why we're called Christians because Christ died on this cross. He also um, wanted me to build one for the outside on top of the roof on the building. So we put that one together also and is four levels to this building. So we actually had to get it up four levels uh, and put it on the front of the church. And we had to mount it in such a way that it would be safe and secure. And um, so the Holy Spirit showed us exactly what to do and how to do it. And uh, we just thank God and we we're grateful to God to show us, uh, to, to have shown us how to do this and the importance of actually having a cross outside is people can see it even if they're not members. And they'll come in and they look around and the first thing they will see when they um, <clears throat> come into the debt-free zone, the cross on top of the building uh, is hard to miss. And then we put lighting at nighttime uh, on the cross so people can see it even at night. And um, I believe that it's going to be a truly a blessing to people when they look up on that cross. I believe that it will uh, cause people to even be saved and even come crying, what must I do to be saved because of the cross, because it's a symbol of grace, mercy, and love. And I thank God once again for the opportunity to do such a thing for him. The broken body of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the broken body of Jesus that was broken for us. His body, 39 lashes for our healing. And we shakata. Yeah, we bless you. We bless you. We take it now and we say thank you. That was paid for our redemption. The broken body and the shed blood of Jesus. And we give you thanks now. 39 lashes for our healing, for our deliverance. We eat together now, giving you thanks. Thank you for the broken body of Jesus. And Father, the blood, the blood, where would we be if it wasn't for the blood of Jesus? We don't want to just take this haphazardly, but God, we thank you for it. He was obedient. He became obedient even unto death, death on the cross. Remind us we need to be obedient to you today, God. We drink together now. We say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.